All right, when you think of asteroids, you probably think about some end of the world sci-fi movie you've seen, right? But the threat of huge space rocks crashing into planet Earth is very real. In this month's Big Idea, Robert Moses shows us the steps NASA's taking to try to keep us safe. It came without warning. A house-sized asteroid hit the Russian city of Chelyabinsk more than a year ago. It was traveling at nearly 40,000 miles an hour and with more explosive energy than the nuclear bomb that exploded over Hiroshima. It reminded me of action movies like Terminator 4, this eyewitness said. The light was very bright, like a bright sun. Then the blast happened. Those on the ground suffered injuries, mostly cuts, but no one died. Why? In a word, luck. Had it hit much lower, no one who observed the event would have been alive to talk about it. Earth was formed from a disk of gas and dust. World-renowned astrophysicist Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson, who hosts Cosmos, a space-time odyssey on Fox, calls that a fortunate experiment, a wake-up call with minimal consequences. One of my favorite posters on the inter internet, it says asteroids are nature's way of asking you, how's that space program coming along? <laughs> Before we go on, a word about terminology. Asteroids are rocks, sometimes containing metal, that orbit the sun. When they hit the ground, as the one in Russia did, they're called meteorites. This is a meteorite that hit Greenland thousands of years ago. It weighs about 34 tons. By comparison, the meteorite that hit Russia last year weighed nearly 10,000 tons. But hold on. What if there was a way to alter the tracks of asteroids and therefore eliminate the threat they pose to us here on Earth? NASA says there is. The agency calls it the Asteroid Redirect Mission. The Obama administration asked Congress for $133 million in the 2015 fiscal year to fund it. The goal is to find an asteroid near Earth, lasso it, and eventually send humans to land on it and study it. NASA also wants to prove that it can move an asteroid in case one is on a collision course with us. We deal with near misses somewhat frequently, I would say um, half a dozen times a year. It is something that is becoming uh, more important within the international community. Rather than just run from it and scream and say, We're, you know, buy water and toilet paper, uh, you can say, let's deflect this. We asked Dr. Denton Abel at the Museum of Natural History how that might be done. The gravity of our spacecraft would pull the object off its course to a different course. In the long run, there's an asteroid with our name on it. Those are ominous words that evoke thrillers like Armageddon. Oh my God, this is it. But scientists say this isn't the stuff of science fiction, it's science fact. For the future of our wealth, our health, our security, our energy needs, our needs for resources, if we ignore what space has to offer, we will doom ourselves to extinction here on Earth. While Tyson says he wants NASA to pursue its asteroid ambitions, he acknowledges the technology may still be years away. It was a cosmic event that doomed the dinosaurs. It could take some big ideas like those NASA is studying for us to avoid the same fate. Robert Moses, Fox 5 News. And you may be wondering how long it would take for an astronaut to travel to an asteroid. NASA tells us such a trip, which is planned for the mid-2020s, would take about a month.